We have an electric meter. Its resistance is 20 ohm. And this meter produces a maximum needle deflection with 10 milliamp flowing through its terminals. And we want to use this meter to measure voltages. What resistance? must be connected in series so that the maximum needle deflection occurs when series combination is connected to one volt. This is our circuit, uh, a meter in series with some resistance. We know these values. Then using Kirchhoff's voltage law and Ohm's law, we can easily find the value of this resistance, which is 80 ohm. We have obtained a voltmeter now, measuring voltages ranging from 0 to 1 volt. Its internal resistance is quite low, 100 ohm. Now, same meter, we will use this meter to measure currents. What resistance must be placed in parallel now uh, with the meter so that the maximum needle deflection occurs when 50 milliamp current flows into the combination. Now we have a power connection of two resistors. We know these values. Then using Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law, we can easily find that the resistance, the parallel resistance is 5 ohm. And that way we have obtained an ammeter. Ammeter measuring currents ranging from 0 to 50 milliamp. And it's internal resistance uh, is 4 ohm. 20 ohm in parallel with 5 ohm gives 4 ohm resistance.